Halo Infinite has been in development for an infinite amount of time. They started on this game around the time I stopped making League videos, okay? It has been a long, bumpy ride getting this thing out the door. Staff turnover at 343 is insane. The guy replacing the original director left the game. Microsoft supposedly sunk $500 million into making this thing. And what do they have to show for it? Well, they made a really cool grapple hook. This thing is badass. You can grapple onto a mid-air bench. You can zip weapons to you from a distance. Whack a jackal shield. You can say this. Yeah. Grapple Hook also gives Master Chief's mobility a big kick in the ass. This thing is on a low cooldown, so you are using it non-stop to pull yourself around to ring, scaling buildings, shit. bouncing shit. off. Shit. Oh, damn. There we go. This is bigger than dual wielding, bigger than stealing vehicles, the bubble shield, sprint button, or aiming down sights. The grapple hook is the saving grace of Halo Infinite and the biggest mechanical innovation ever introduced to the series. And as a side note, Halo is now an open world game. Yes, they went open world, and yes, that world is full of copy and paste objectives. Objectives like smash a button, blow up a cylinder, and uh, kill a guy with extra health. A high value banish targets nearby, a jackal sniper called Barris. Intel says he's a crack shot, but you're dead. Like many elements of Halo Infinite, it feels unfinished, but it's also a breath of fresh air and the Prince of Fresh Prince of Brailleur. It's not a true open world where you can go any direction you want. It's more of like a sequence of huge levels. <laughs> Previous Halo games are proof that you don't need an open world to have sprawling open-ended combat, but Halo Infinite benefits from it by creating a consistent flow of chaotic large-scale battles. Monkey guys chase you around while Jackass enemy snipes you from a rooftop. Grunts will kamikaze rush you down while elites cloak themselves and roll to avoid grenades. Killing an elite causes grunts to cower in fear. Yes, all of this is ripped straight out of Halo 1, but Halo 1 is still pretty fun, except you're faster. Enemies are faster, more numerous, and more varied in the range and elevation you engage them in. And I'm pretty sure a brute picked up a grunt and threw him at me one time. All right, I won't kill him. And he killed himself. Grunts is the funniest enemy in video games, and this game just leans into that. They also put explosive barrels everywhere in this game, and it is great. It's, if there's a dude on a turret, there's probably an explosive barrel behind him. You can zip barrels to you and chuck them. It never gets old, setting off a huge chain reaction of explosions and watching a group of Covenant soar off into the horizon. The explosive barrel is also one of the best vehicles in the game. Sadly, the level design and story are not on par with the gameplay. 343 is still trying to force this soap opera romance between Master Chief and Cortana, and it is fucking absurd at this point. Halo 4 and 5 both introduced a bunch of crazy bullshit with the Forerunners and the Composer and the Didact and the Librarian and the Guardians and the Covenant is back to being evil, so they team up with the Prometheans who turn on the Covenant, and Cortana dies but gets sucked into the domain instead. By the end of Halo 5, we were left with a cliffhanger ending where Cortana turned into an evil emperor and took over the entire galaxy. Halo Infinite begins and says, oh yeah, Cortana died or something, she lost. What the fuck? <laughs> How did we get here? Turns out, after killing everybody in the universe that opposed her, she lost to a monkey and killed her own self off screen before the game started. And also, there is a new secret race called the Endless, who are the most powerful evil species of creatures that have ever lived and have way more powers than that one shit that doesn't even exist anymore. The cutscene budget is gone. We don't get cutscenes in this game. Halo 2 Anniversary had these beautiful pre-rendered cutscenes. Halo 5 had a mix of pre-rendered and in-game cutscenes. You had these huge, spectacular action shots with Spartans doing badass shit. In Halo Infinite, every cutscene is Master Chief looking at a hologram. Every part of this game is lacking in variety. The enemies are pulled from Halo 2 except for the Flood, and the Prometheans are gone, but there aren't new enemies to fill that void. Get out of here. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> 
Likewise, there are only two settings in this game, the open world, which is full of identical structures, and the linear segments, where you walk down 200 metal hallways and your progress is constantly halted by these stupid fucking power seeds. There are individual missions from old Halo games with more visual variety than all of Infinite's linear segments combined. In Infinite's own multiplayer, you have a neon lit downtown setting, a desert zone, a market in Mombasa. Where is this variety in the campaign? The story beats are also repetitive. Master Chief walks to a building, Cortana snaps her fingers, then Donkey Kong calls you. Do that 20 times. This world, looming, repeating, forever. They're trying to retcon Halo 4 and 5, except Master Chief won't cooperate. You need to delete me. No. The final boss is in this for three seconds and keeps teasing a threat that never appears. The reclamation is about to begin. The reformation has begun. Most of the important events of the story happen off screen and then it's explained to you through exposition. Atriox. 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 I want you to know my name too. Atriox. 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 Halo Infinite is the best AAA game Microsoft has put out in over a decade, but it also feels rushed and compromised. It combines the series' best combat with its worst story. The open world is a fresh structural twist and a natural extension of Halo's huge levels, but also feels patchy and unfinished. Meanwhile, the constrictive and repetitive linear segments are at odds with gameplay clearly designed for an open world setting. I'm gonna steal this guy's banshee. Get me there. Watch this. Humanity is pathetic. 